Okay, hi, welcome, welcome back to some more GTA 5. So in my Batman Arkham City video that went live Thursday, which was yesterday for me, I did a little bit of a rant in the beginning about just how I feel playing this game. So if you want to know why I've been playing a bit less, you can go check that out. I'm not going to reiterate myself because one, who wants to hear it again if you've already had it? And two, I really want to start this part off on a more positive note. I just got done finished editing the last part that you will see and I start off really negative so I really want to start off on a more positive note this time so we're going to continue on. Michael is back, we saved Michael from being kidnapped, we have a mission at Michael's house, I think where is Michael right now? Trevor's not very happy, we're cleaning out the bureau or at least well we did the mission where we scouted everyone out last time, this time I think we're actually going to be cleaning out the bureau, make sure I do that. I have my water again, again it's still very hot, <laughs> thank god it's gonna get to winter, like I can wear jumpers again. I love jumpers. I'm a jumper girl. Anyway, let's go. Oh, good Lady Gaga. Ooh. Also, what I think has happened for some reason, a lot of my controls restored to the detail. I think that's why I was driving worse last time because it reset so many of my settings. And I, I don't know why. There was no reason for them to. It just decided to. But yeah, this is definitely better now that it's higher. Also, sorry, I was looking on Reddit because I wanted to see if anyone else was having the same issues that I was. And there's something called Dead Zone, which they added that you can edit it and I don't know where it is there is dialogue boost but I don't know what that does dead zone third person let me see that changed something what did that change okay let me try it like this and I'm gonna see how I feel just take it it's thrift store anyway help that bastard just robbed me oh my god Don't make this any worse than it already is. Don't call the cops. Someone robbed them. Okay, I'm gonna give it back to her because we're good citizens here. That Tell did me give me two thousand, but it's okay. Thought you might need this. What a gentleman! And for what? <laughs> oh, she gave me two thousand. It's okay. Two hundred. Sorry, no. She took eighteen hundred. Gave me two hundred. You know what? Fair enough. I get this turning to my own house. Great. Reuniting the family? Are they coming back? Not the unwashed dishes and the pizza boxes. Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael, no. Oh, I really want them to come back. <gasps> hey, what? But... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just, well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit. I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. Why am I crying? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? <laughs> what? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. That's a lot, we do. Which way. 
I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Oh. Yeah, it's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. <laughs> Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. I don't know why that's made me so emotional, but it has. Oh my god. I've missed these guys. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No. I don't know. Well, <laughs> what's been happening with you? Uh, A lot. Thanks. It's been... It's... It's interesting. Guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd... I was now, kidnapped. Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Those beast Hispanic dudes with automatic weapons and blacked out windows? They kind of made me think it was an involuntary exodus. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been oh the yoga. Oh, you rile me up, you, you know rat. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. Oh. This is too. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Well, well, what are you <laughs> <laughs> I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say, dude, look, I just... <laughs> what he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic old drunken mess and he needs you and you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation someone shut up i guess we could try all i'm asking for is a shot neutral ground dr friedlander's office it's perfect all of us i'll pick up tracy and bring her there meet you fine all right you Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. I feel like Amanda's really matured. I don't know if she has. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Excuse me? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. But in the time that like to be at the we've been apart, oh. I definitely feel like she's matured. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? Oh. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Uncle well, maybe T. Maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of, okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I have a wife? Rat? I think they're in here. 
Did a horrible job at parking, but come on, let's go. Looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, if you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just not my junk, OK? I'm already scarred down there. Uh, ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psych? Ah. Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks perfect. Have fun with yeah, the infections. Ah. Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's daddy number two gonna <laughs> stop this? Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Let's do... I always thought tramp stamps could be classy. Ah. Just relax, okay? Oh. <sighs> Mommy! <sighs> How about I throw all those three little pubic hairs oh, on you, too? Oh, my God. Ah. There we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you got, like, a camera phone or a mirror? I can oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash <laughs> you over the head with it. Too much. <laughs> Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. You look like one now, yeah. You're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look. Okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. <laughs> what? So, I'll like call you or something, okay? Bye. Never a family that needs therapy. My ponytail. How do I look? It's not good, is it? You actually don't look that bad. He could have done so much worse. One of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Hello there. Hi. That was so cute. Like I. Difficult, but your therapist has exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like pow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine daddy. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long, and I don't act all superior about it. Sorry. Still ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good, not an objective universal good. But like a subjective, what's in our best interest? Fuck. Oh! What's in our best interest kind of good? Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> do it, Dan! Yeah! Do, do it. it! Do no. it! No. Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off! Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. <laughs> there. Let's do that shit. Hey. How about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, at least for the meantime. Thank you. 
You're not gonna question that? Okay. I love the growth from Michael though. Truly do. It's nice to see. What if Michael does die? Wait, that wasn't foreshadowing, right? Michael's not dying. No. Oh. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? <laughs> Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. Maybe Don't they need this. Maybe this is you good. Locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh, Michael. Great. I think we made some real progress there. <sighs> oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What? Double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> they just needed to let out their like anger and frustration. I dig it. I dig it. Are you gonna take us home then? Okay. You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Oh. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the line to the FIB? That monster Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? No. What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I'll give it my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad. Gross. 
You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, so I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your pants, okay? Yeah, it's so demeaning how you treat women. Pop! You... Uh -huh. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Oh, why? Here we are. Home sweet home. Remember this place? Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Reuniting the family. That took 18 minutes. That did not feel like 18 minutes. Oh, Trevor. Oh. Oh. Mm, last one standing. Again. Did you go? Is that Wade? How do I answer first person? I can't tell if that's Wade. I don't think it would be. Oh my god. I don't really know what to do with Trevor. Marianne. Oh, that's Franklin's one. She moved? I swear she was over here. I... <sighs> I don't know how Trevor's gonna, like, come back from this. I need to get him to in a bit of an awkward place here. I need to get him to, like, land there? Oh, there's a main road anyway. It's me. I shouldn't have called. But, Trisha! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Trisha, I really miss you. The time together is very important. I have to go. What's that about? Oh, the photo of them. Oh, stop! No, you're actually making me sad now. I don't know what that was about, though. Okay, well, I need to go up to the main road anyway. What, Trevor, where did you put your clothes? Like, I don't even know where to go or what to do. That's Barry. Okay, I... One of my cars might be in here. Let me get a taxi there. I mean, at least we can see all his tattoos now. I did ask to see them. One thing's for sure, we can see them. Car? I hear a car. Patricia. Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Trevor! Oh, I miss you. All you boys. I miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other... boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I... Yeah, well, not speaking. Is. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Where can I take you? Mission Are we meant to go see her or something? Something sus is going on that 100%. This is a spot, right? Oh, oh my god. Trevor, you could have at least put some clothes on. Come on. I'm... Mm -hmm. Do I have any vehicles in here? What are you looking at? How about yeah, I do. I beat some sense into you? You give up? Okay. I mean, we can go speak to Barry, I guess. Oh, he's back here. I wonder what Trevor Can has to say about Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty. Huh? 
No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, no another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. <sighs> Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalized smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! I thought he wanted it. Take a drag. No, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. So it didn't affect Franklin because he has stronger stuff. It affected Michael because he's not used to it. Yeah. Trevor is kind of used to it, but he's also on other stuff, so I wonder how it's going to affect him. <laughs> not well. No, no, not clowns. Not clowns. I don't like clowns. Oh my god. I finally flipped! This is it! No Come on, Trevor. Oh. I'm turning into a lightweight. Oh, because he hasn't taken it. Why is the car not being destroyed? Interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said. Okay, so I wonder if... Okay, I'm just trying. I don't know what that is. A part of me wonders if... There were two reasons why he could have got clowns. One being the fact that he's scared of them. Or two, the fact that he feels so humiliated by what... Or, like, taken advantage of by what Michael did that he feels like everyone's laughing at him and he's a clown. I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, reading too much into it. But that's kind of what it feels like. I can't be asked to take him all the way back home. So I'm going to get him to get in the car. And then I'm going to get him to wear some clothes. <laughs> I can't have him walking around like this. This is actually how he's not been caught by the cops yet. I no clue. No clue. Nothing's come up for Trevor though. I might try switching back to Franklin. Or switching over to Franklin. 
Because Michael's probably busy with his family, so I might switch back to Franklin. I'll get him some clothes first. It's okay. Okay. You look fucked up. Oh, dress. Polo shirts. Bowling shirts. God, no. Oh, that blue looks good on him. Let's get you that and some trousers. Where are trousers? No trousers? Oh, here, here. Here. Kind of like the brown. There we go. Right. Is there. We might have to go out. I'm gonna get him the cowboy boots simply because they're cowboy boots. I know they don't go, but they're cowboy boots. I have to get the cowboy boots. Okay, I'm gonna go check out this hairdresser and then I'll switch back to Franklin. Cause still nothing's come up with Shrubba. And apparently also anyway, if you call Tonya, you, she'll give you a mission. What hairstyles? You know what, I think this was, no it wasn't, I didn't come to this one. I hate Thanks them all, I'm sorry, back. I hate them all. Okay. Right, let me, oh it's, it's going, glowing as Franklin anyway, so. Hey Mike, it's Franklin man, I'm following the architect. All right, don't fuck it up. Oh, we're back here. Oh. Hey, stupid. You can't be on here without a hat. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. I already don't like this guy. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Why am I nervous? <laughs> I'm really scared for some reason. I don't know why. Oh look, it's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. It's so weird how no one's noticing me. I'm not even dressed like them, I just have a hat on. This guy! Anyone know this guy? I'm hey, excuse me! You're not you. meant to be here! I just jinxed myself. I just... Okay. I don't know if that was because I bumped into them or if they would have noticed me either way. Oh, look. It's the great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Just in case, I'm gonna go around this way instead. Run 
running from me is a bad idea. Could they not hear us? Surely he's gonna call the cops. I knew that was gonna happen. Wait, wait, I don't have to, I don't have to briefcase. Oh my gosh. God damn. Can't jump up there. If I just hide here, can they see me? I'm in the light, aren't I? Who saw me? Little rat. Come on, I've done worse things and they didn't even warrant this type of response. This is ridiculous. Give me the car. Can I jump over the skate? <laughs> that was intense. That was intense. Hopefully I still have the briefcase because to know where it went. My stomach hurts. My stomach actually hurts. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oof. <sighs> Did not think I was gonna get away with that. I really prefer it when we have someone else in the car. I don't know, cause like I like the dialogue that we get with it. It's a bit boring when we're by ourselves. Unless they're on the phone, but it's not appear to be the case this time. This is a nice car though. Oh, I do have the briefcase. Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Uh, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much Other one. resistance. 
Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Is Chuck mm -hmm. not gonna be involved in this then? If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so okay. you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way? With the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now, you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the, uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes mm. has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? I don't know. If I don't have to fly, I'm great doing the roof entry. That requires hacking. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go roof. Of course. Now you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. Hey, Michael, you're up. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. Oh, this we're going guy, page. Ricky, I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. I know, but I just feel like we might as well go full, you know? Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. We'll go Gustavo. Gusmoda. He's a pro. Gusmoda, Not much sorry. else to say. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Okay. They did a good Evangelico, remember? This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? I believe so. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. I half expected Michael to open the door and Trevor to be there. Oh, architect plans, kit, quick getaway. Okay. Right. We have Solomon. Now, oh, Solomon, what is this gonna be? Because like, if it's chasing someone, I'm gonna be real mad. Oh. I've been looking into that Chip Peterson thing. I might have something. Okay. Wait, email. Mm, listen, Michael, I'm so glad we're back together and making go of things. After everything we've been through, I just couldn't give up on our family. Yes, you're awful and clearly you're never going to change, but I guess I want to bury you when the time comes as your wife. Please stop cheating on me. I... I haven't cheated on her. You're the one cheating on me. Please stop hanging out with those kind of people and please stop getting into the kind of trouble you're getting into. Go back to being the fat, depressing slob in therapy I loved, okay? Be the best you. That's what they say on. Listen in. So do it or do something positive. Set an example to the kids. A better example. Listen, I really think we should remodel the house again. Nothing expensive. What they call a quick gut. It should really solidify our relationship. Either that or get a beach house. Thank you. I think you find the sea very calming. My darling wife, hear you. I'll continue to do my mess. No house remodeling or beach houses just yet though, please. Let's focus on getting the kids out of the house and gainfully employed with us. Let me just call Franklin, see what he has to say. Oh, he's busy. Okay, fine. <laughs> the rat. Hey, sugar plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? By 
Greenwood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been bothering me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Okay. Oh, who, who's this creep? I wasn't about to decline her help though, especially not with something like that. Solomon can wait. I love driving around when it's night. I don't know. Maybe it's because there's tra traffic, but no, no, no. It's actually a lot nicer at night. It's just pretty with all the lights. Daddy, come on, get in the car, let's go. What about, sorry, what about my car though? Let's see if we can find him. Oh my eyes. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what name. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Drive carefully! Sorry. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel on the big construction site. I wanted to hear what he was saying. Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? No, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. Then what? Yo, dude. Hey. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell, Rockford Plaza. Babes, what? Uh, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Ah, uh, well, now you just got to find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Have we found this brick? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You, you finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Okay. He around <laughs> here? Oh, stop the stalker's car? Go, Daddy! Get him, Daddy! Not this again. Not this again! Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! Yeah, well, now we're the ones who are gonna do something. Oh my god, you killed him! You killed him! <gasps> you just killed him! I can't believe it! What was I supposed to do? I can't believe you did that! What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This I was infinitely more <sighs> persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess. He really scared me, but I, I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Good. That's my girl. Now, please, try to make better choices. Thanks, Daddy. Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. I didn't think I'd be able to stop the car, so I just took the shot, okay? A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I don't know if there was any other outcome to that. There might have been, but... I was not about to spend god knows how long finding it out. We've had a good episode so far. I've actually really been enjoying it. I didn't I didn't want that to change. So I just took the shot. It's okay. Blame it on blame it on Michael, not me.
We're on. <gasps> the mission's ready. But well, we're gonna go see Solomon first. Also, I love how I just took Tracy's car. <laughs> I had to leave mine, so I'm taking yours. Deal with it. Oh, we can go around this way anyway. It's fine. Also, a lot of the times I don't see what's in front of me because I'm looking on the map. So yeah, that's why I tend to like bump into a load of things. Damn, okay, someone has anger issues. Gone away. Hello, hello. Oh. Good to see you, Slick. Devon, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> We're gonna My do wife something. Got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Michael! Okay, okay, the airport. Slick, you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. I've not Don't done do all of that slick. work for nothing. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. <sighs> Has he got the cops on me? God, this is so intense. Getting away? Oh, they're after Molly. I don't know where she went. 
Oh, I do, but I'm going the wrong way. I know she's getting away. Oh, I thought they were after me, so I was slowing down. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What's she up to? What is she up to, though? because I'm chasing her, but it's still. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, you're telling me she's gone crazy. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. God, thank God I took that car. I decided out of all things a plane was the best way to go but I guess that's what we're doing oh and there's a chopper on me how great oh I don't like this also I've been failing landing each time because I haven't been putting the wheels down so it's good that I know that now I'm learning guys thank you for reminding I completely forgot that I'm not gonna lie. I literally chose the plane with the, the broken thing I'm gonna need to try landing it uh, not here, not here, not there. I don't know what to do. The engine's gone. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, we can pull it back. I don't like this. I'm feeling really sick. Come on. Okay. Oh. Oh, I actually wanted to expand the mission, but it's okay. I tried landing it and it didn't work. At least I did the mission though. I got it. I didn't get to hear the phone call, but uh, it's okay. Oh, I died because, okay. Oh, I'm annoyed I didn't get to hear the phone call. Can I call him? 
I don't think he's gonna answer. I just speak into the thing? What? This is a humiliation too far. No one in this town answers their own phone. And I'm supposed to be on my own answering machine? Okay, so I accidentally missed the phone call. I should have tried staying up in the air, but I tried landing it and it worked. Anyway, have my lesson. That was really fun. I'm glad I started it on a more positive note because I really actually did think that helped with playing this game because I, I had so much fun today. It was so, so good. I really did love it so much. We have the family back now. We're getting along together. Molly, Molly is gone. Trevor's not gonna like that. Trevor's already mad at us and he's not gonna like that. The union depository stuff is kind of going underway too. We have the mission to do next time the heist which Trevor's not going to be a part of. But I had so much fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be with it for today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next part of GTA 5. Okay, bye.